President Biden also unveiled an agreement with Iraq's prime minister that formalizes the role of U.S. troops as advisors instead of fighters by the end of the year. The president announced the major mission change for American troops alongside Iraq's prime minister at the White House. That move ends the U.S. military's combat mission countering ISIS in the years following 9-11. And it all comes just ahead of the president's uh, deadline to pull U.S. combat troops out of Afghanistan. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst on Fox explained why she's concerned. What we can't do is cede the Middle East to the Iranians. Uh, we can't uh, cede it to the Islamic State. We need to make sure that Iraq can remain strong. And so we shouldn't be setting a timeline, certainly. Um, I am supportive of keeping those troops there. Now, that plan calls for some of the 2,500 U.S. military members to remain in Iraq to make sure that terrorist groups don't return. The administration wants to avoid a repeat of 2011 when the U.S. pulled out troops just to send them back three years later to battle the resurgence of ISIS.